Hello everybody, my name is Lisa Wade and I live in Peter Maritzburg, KwaZulu-Natal. I'm reaching out for assistance where possible so that I can keep running my placement service called Helping Hands at Home. What I do is I obtain potential candidates and I place them with families who are needing domestic work assistance and um, that, you know, I, I basically match the, the domestic worker with the family. And I wish to expand on this as well to another sector. I started doing this in 2016 when I was employed and as a recruitment agent for domestic workers and this is where I found my passion. When the company was or the business was dissolved at the end of 2016 I think, I was retrenched and I was offered I was, it was suggested to me that I take over, obviously in my own name, which we're helping hands at home comes from. I was doing pretty well in 2017. And then unfortunately my father passed away, so I had a bit of a break. And then I carried on in 2018. I did place a few, I placed a good few ladies, well, candidates with families and then in 2019 I obtained permanent employment and didn't have any time to carry on with helping hands at home. Now that my sons are both employed and I'm unemployed as well I'm unemployed um, I, I really would like to continue with helping hands at home however what I do have doesn't really work as well as it did in 2017-18 and uh, there are costs involved where I need to either obtain a new laptop or or pr and printer and an MIE device so that I can do the necessary clearance checks and also register with a company called Mariset that verify driver's licenses and IDs and that. And because I need to be sure in myself that when I place a candidate with a family that I've done my very, very best. And that there, you know, that there won't be any comebacks. I, I screen the candidates to the best of my ability um, and it has been suggested that I reach out that I reach out to Becca buddy for assistance so that for financial assistance so that I can get helping hands at home up and running again another thing is I understand what it's like to be unemployed and dependent on others and if I'm feeling like this I can only imagine how ladies in the rural areas or you know men, candidates uh, men women in the rural areas are feeling as well um, and that's because it's my passion this is what I want to do the reason why I'm unemployed, I've got various issues with my spine that compress the nerves and I'm often in quite a bit of pain. So I need a, a chair that will help me, to help to support my back and perhaps get my laptop fixed and have a program and, and get it up-to-date program and also a new lap a new printer and a desk that you know so that I'm comfortable 
And I was just hoping that somebody out there may be willing to open their hearts out to help me. I hope you all have a wonderful day, whether you listen to this today or tomorrow. Whatever day you listen to this, have a wonderful day. And please know that my request is sincere, it's genuine, and all I want to do is try and help others.